Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use custom desktop logo to make a custom crosshair for Rust or pretty much any game. Um, some games may have this blocked. I believe certain anti-cheats might kick you from games if you have a crosshair. I think Fortnite was one of those games. But um, Rust doesn't do that. I've never seen anybody get kicked or banned or anything for using a crosshair. I know like um, some big streamers, like I believe Warrior, uses a crosshair, and um, it can be pretty helpful since Rust has 100% fire accuracy. So what you want to do is download custom desktop logo, which I've already done as you can see, and once you've done that it will project uh, the default logo, which is this Coca-Cola thing, um, onto your desktop, and that's not exactly a crosshair. So what you can do to make a crosshair is go to Kovacs Crosshair Generator and you can make a completely customizable crosshair. So yeah, just play around with it, figure out what you like. And I might recommend making it a little bit larger than you want because you can adjust the size in custom desktop logo. Um, so once you've done that, download the crosshair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rename this so I'm struggling to type um, done that I'm gonna go ahead and drag it onto my desktop and from there you can open up custom desktop logo and this is where you will be able to um, this is where you'll be able to customize your actual crosshair so I already had this open already, but um, yeah. So first of all, you want to change the image folder because uh, this is not a crosshair. <laughs> um, so basically you go here, custom desktop logo system images, um, and there should be a bunch of like default logos and what I'm going to do is just replace one of these, probably. Um, you may need to put this in a folder, so just take your um, take the crosshair you have, put it in a folder. Hang on, i got to go to Russ so I don't get kicked from the lobby. Take the crosshair you have, put it in a folder like one of these. Same thing. And then now I have it in a folder. Alright, so I've got my monitor cleared up now, so I'm going to um, drag this over here into images. And then you can select a crosshair from here. Alright, there, it's projecting it right here now, which is not optimal. It's not a crosshair because it's in the far right of my screen, but it is projecting the crosshair. So what I'm going to do is move this. Um, also, this will project on your second monitor, or all of your monitors, uh, unless you select primary only. And now, once this is selected, it will no longer um, project on any of your other monitors. Uh, only the one you have selected to primary. So I'm going to launch Rust, and then... Yeah, this will be all the way down here. If you set this to zero, it will not be. Should now be... No? Oh, I know what it is, because I have the bottom right. This is, okay, this is the offset, and this is the location. So you have to select this to center, and then this you can use to control the offset on the X and Y axis. Um, so you'll also notice that it's a little bit too big. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size, and you can change the size with this dragger, and you can have it really big or really small, and I'm probably going to put it like somewhere about right, right here, and I'm going to go back to location, and I'm going to lower it by 
about two pixels on the y-axis. That way it um, doesn't cover up the tip of my cursor so I can still see my targets. So I will try this out in game and depending on how it works, um, I can customize it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll just make a different crosshair. All right, I've loaded into Rust now and I'm gonna go into uh, targets. And you'll see I have a crosshair on the center of my screen. So you should be able to hit firebots with some degree of precision now. I forgot that it's lower than my target, so I have to aim low, which is a little weird, but it's just because I have a triangle to be pretty much. Um, so this triangle doesn't really look like it's in a good spot. I'm going to put on an 8x and see exactly where it is. It looks like it's a bit to the right and top, so I'm going to bring back this program and I'm going to set this to zero, that way I have a baseline. I can see that it's pretty much in the center, I think. I'm going to change this to one. That brought it down. I'm going to change this to negative one. This should take it left. Because it seemed like it was a little bit too far to the right. Um, I'm going to adjust the size a little bit. Probably make it a little bit smaller. Maybe a little bit bigger. Not that big. I'm going to try putting that point through. And then I'm going to set this back to zero. And there we go, that looks pretty good to me. Also, um, there's one last thing to consider in terms of settings. Um, you'll notice this is not opaque at all. Um, so you can't see the target through it like whatsoever, but you can change the uh, opacity of it. And yes, over here. So you can drop this down quite low, and now you can like pretty much not see it at all. If you put it somewhere in the middle, you can see it, but it doesn't like interfere with your vision really. Not sure if you guys would like this though, so I'm gonna keep mine around around here probably. Um be a little higher. A little bit, 143. Yeah, alright, so that's pretty good for me, I think, so I'm going to minimize this, and that will minimize custom desktop logo to your system tray, and then you can just, um, you have a crosser now, baby, basically. Um, one thing I recommend experimenting with is you can put on a hollow site and you can have a tiny red dot and that way when you have a hollow site the uh, red dot blends in with hollow site so it doesn't interfere with your site picture very much. Um, yeah, you may or may not want to do that, I don't know. You can also have it blend into certain sites probably. It all depends on what you prefer. Um, I probably wouldn't normally use a triangle, but I wanted to give it a try. So yeah, you have a working crosshair. You'll, you will have to reopen the program, by the way, every time you launch your computer, but yeah. Oh yeah, one last thing. You can always hide your crosshair whenever you want to. Or if you're looking at a video or something and you don't want to see your crosshair, you can just turn it off like that. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's a hotkey for that, but... And so it's not too hard to do.